Hi guys, this is the second attempt at filming this. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Penny. If you're new, it's great to meet you. And if you're an existing viewer, welcome back. Today, I've got a charity shop haul. It's not a big haul. There's a few things in there, but it's not very big. I've not been out and about much this week, apart from doctors and various appointments. I've got a few health issues going on, so apologies for not uploading this week. If I have anything to update you on after all these tests and things have been completed, I will do. But at the moment, um, it's just ongoing, ongoing. So it's not been the best of times, but we'll get there, as we always do. So I've got a few new subscribers, so thank you so much for coming to join my little YouTube family, it means the world to me. If you are watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you would do. It's absolutely free, there's no obligation whatsoever, it just helps YouTube push my videos out. The more subscribers I've got, the more chance there is of me earning off my little channel because at the moment that ain't happening but yeah I'd love to actually gain a few more subscribers and see this channel grow so like I said if you wouldn't mind guys just give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe it would mean the absolute world right on with the show as they say just a few little bits I think I'll do the clothing items first I've got two pairs one one pair of like um cargo trousers cargo bottoms and a pair of jeans neither of which actually do up at the minute but hopefully they will do come summer i'm ever the optimistic i live in hope <laughs> but at the minute they won't quite do it but i'm going to show you anyway it keeps me what's the word it keeps me i can't remember the word but i have to do something about it if i've shown you and then I don't get into them. I've only got myself to blame, haven't I? So the first pair are these gorgeous pink cargoes. They were two pounds from the YMCA shop. They're originally Primark, so I don't know, they wouldn't have been that much to begin with, but 14 quid, I'm assuming. But they're these gorgeous bubblegum pink. They're like a canvassy cotton material with the cargo pocket on the side there and then they're wide leg so yeah really wide legged there's a bit of fluff on them and you can roll them well you can't but i can i could ro roll them up or leave them long uh, oh pardon me <laughs> how rude <laughs> absolutely love them they'd be lovely with um either trainers or sandals flip-flops They'd equally look nice with a pair of chunky boots. So, yeah, I'm hoping to get into those for the summer. Then I've got a pair of jeans that are not my normal style, guys. I picked them up. I used to wear this type of jean a long time ago, but now I'm a skinny jeans girl. I don't like flares or anything like that. I am a skinny jeans girl. These are a kick flare. They are brand new with tags from Et Vu. Now, I'm not sure what Et Vu is. There's all the tags of a kick flare. They were originally £18 and they were size 18 regular. No idea what Et Vu is, but I actually paid £5, which I thought was good considering as they haven't been worn they're brand new and they were 18 pounds initially i mean everything's going up guys they were from the st david's charity shop everything's going up so i mean where they were three and four before five pounds is about the average so they're a lovely dark denim as i said they were an 18 they've got a lovely stretchy waist there's a good bit of stretch all through them they've got these lovely little I don't know, square pockets, where you would normally have your jeans pockets. They're like a square pocket. Um, quite high, well, no, not really high-waisted, but not too bad. And on the back, just two normal pockets, as you would expect. Then they're a skinny leg all the way down till you get to this kick flare at the bottom. 
Knowing me, guys, I'll be tripping over them. I'll be getting my foot caught in them, tripping over them and falling flat on my face. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so accident prone, it's beyond a joke. But I'm going to give them a go once I've lost a couple of pounds to enable them to do it. They were two button fastening and at the moment they're kind of like that on me. I can't quite pull them together, but I will, guys. I will. Can't do them back up now. When you get new jeans, the buttonholes are always really tight, aren't they? So, oh, now we've got the microphone all caught up in them. That was those. Then I picked up this jumper from St Vincent's and it was £1.75. And it's a Primark. Size, looks like it says size 14, but it fits. It's one of those round necky things with a V-neck, like a choker neck. Now, I do need to lose some weight, as we all know, because when I wear things like this, it emphasises me multitude of chins. i got more rolls than Greg's, guys. <laughs> but it's a really nice jumper. Longer in the back, shorter in the front, and it's a nice open knit. So it'd be lovely for the spring. So yeah, again, need to lose a bit of weight, but I really like it. And I've got this one. Now I love this style. This was three pounds from Sense. And it was a Florence and Fred. It's a beautiful green, like a bottle green. And it's a balloon sleeve with those lovely sort of long cuffed wrists. But I mean, they come quite, there's my wrist there. So see, they go quite a long way up. And then the balloon sort of puffs over. I was going to do a try on with this, but seeing as the jeans don't fit, I didn't see the point. <laughs> I'll try them on when I can get into them. And I'll do a charity shop try on haul with all the things, not all, but a selection of the things that I've bought over the time I've been doing YouTube I guess or maybe over the last couple of months so yeah it's a round neck it's a rib fabric loads and loads of stretch in it and I just love the colour quite like green don't normally go for it but I do quite like green there was that oh my god it's tangled up again I don't know if the sound quality is going to be any better wearing this microphone, but it's not a wireless one. It's, it's wired and I keep getting it caught on everything. So I don't know if it's actually going to be beneficial or not. Then we went to the tip shop. Now, people would go, oh, tip shop, but it's not like it sounds. It's a charity shop. It's called The Cabin and it's attached to the local tip. And people can go and donate their stuff there like they would to any other charity shop. Um, but all the proceeds go to... Where did they go, did she say? Children's Hospital. I can't remember. They go somewhere and it was quite a good cause. So we do go to the tip shop quite often. So I'm not entirely sure of prices because Howard had a big bag of stuff. He included my stuff. He said he'd pay for them. But the big bag of stuff came to £7 in total. So I'm assuming they were like a pound, well, less than a pound per item because you had quite a few, didn't you? So, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'm saying a pound, but it was probably less. So the first thing I picked up was this pinky colour, pink on the back there. And it's a collar for a coat, or like you could just wear it on top of the coat. It's got a hook and eye there, fastening. So it could sit on a jumper, a cardigan, could be worn as a kind of off the shoulder shawl thing if you're going out. But I bought it to go on top of a coat. I really like it and as I said I'm not sure of the price but it looks brand new guys it looks absolutely brand new there's no shop name or anything else on it yeah it's just satin inside but 
happy with that. Then there were this pair, what's well, a pair? <laughs> Three pairs of socks. They're in a lovely silvery glitter box, well, sleeve, because inside they're like that. I picked them up, they've got little Scotty dogs on them, and I thought they looked very like Radley, you know, Radley bags, and they do clothing and stuff. And I thought they looked like Radley because of the Scotty dog. I don't think they are, guys, because the packaging would have been a bit nicer if it was Radley. But obviously, there's no label or anything to tell me where they are from. But they're brand new and there's three pairs. And they're so sweet. I really like them. So I got two with dogs on and one with little polka dots on. They're really sweet. So they were probably around 50p. Brand new in its box. Then I got this waistcoat and it's by Andalanke. Probably pronouncing that totally wrong. And I went on eBay to have a look at that brand. And these are going on eBay for like 20, 25 pounds. And it was probably like a pound in the in the cabin shop. So it's a faux fur, obviously. I wouldn't buy real fur. It's one of those um, gilet waistcoat things. Now, the only complaint I've got is it doesn't have pockets. But <laughs> for a pound, what do I expect? But it's a really, really nice gilet. If you remember one of my recent um, hauls, charity shop hauls, I found a black one. That was from Primark and it's beautiful. It's so soft. I love it. Was it Primark or was it Matalan? I don't remember, guys, but I picked it up. And uh, yeah, now I've got the brown sort of neutral looking one. It's gorgeous. I really love it. So that'll be perfect if I'm just popping out and about in the car and I don't want to wear a coat. So yeah, absolutely love it. I mean, it's designed like a real fur with the lines going down, but it's not it's polyester or something. It did say on the label, but I don't have my glasses. It's machine washable. Um, I can't work out what it says, but yeah, full fur anyway. And there was this one. This was originally Atmosphere, which is Primark. And it reminded me of, you know, the Mexicans when they have their big blankets and they're that sort of style. So it's a... Oh, it's a shawl type of thing. So there's the design on it. Grey, white, beige, all neutrals. So that will also be great for checking on for jumping in the car or just popping out to the shop or something or to the doctors or yeah, so it's really, really nice. Um, I don't know what it's made of. It's probably acrylic being Primark. Aruba. What are you doing? Made of Aruba. Do you know what it reminds me of? What's that? You know the Bon Jovi video when they're on the horses, Blazer Glory? Mm. And there's one of them and they've got like this shawl thing. Oh, it's like that. I really like it. Here it is. I haven't got my glasses, guys. I don't know. It's probably acrylic, but it's Primark. And I love it. It's really, really soft. Really soft. Now I've got two more items for you guys. I've, if you recall, I had um, the Harry book for my birthday. Was it my birthday? Yes, it was for my birthday. But I've also got a few other books. I've got the Dave Grohl book. Um, I've got the Knee Deep in Life book. I've got quite a few books at the sides of the sofa that I haven't been able to read at night, in the daytime, I'm too busy scrolling on my phone and doing house stuff. At night, when I'm settled down, I want to read my books. And I didn't have a nightlight, a book light, but I have now. So I found this. 
it's a clippy oofa doofa i don't know what you call it claw clip what do you call them spring loaded clip mm. so it could attach to anything basically and then it's this little see i don't want to blind you but yeah sorry <laughs> and i thought that would be absolutely perfect to enable me to read when I go to bed at night because I'm an insomniac, I don't sleep, I'm awake till three or four in the morning, every morning. I think this morning it was five. So yeah, and then I fall asleep then and I don't wake up until midday. <laughs> yeah, not good. So yeah, I've got my book light now and I can get reading. And the last thing, guys, talking of me sleeping in in the mornings because I don't sleep at night, I found this. It's a Lumi clock and it's the Lumi Body Clock Starter 30. It's one of those um, wake you up with gentle daylight clocks. It does work. I've tried it. It's lovely. It glows. It's really... Have I got a plug by there? No, it's too far away for me to show you. Um, so you set the time and you've got an up and a down to control the lighting and it'll wake you up in the mornings with um, like a sunrise. So yeah, I picked this up for three pounds and I've had a little look and they can be quite expensive guys, depending on the model. This is, as I said, the starter one. So this is the least expensive one out of all of them, but they can be quite a lot of money. So I'm really, really pleased with this because my sleeping pattern really has to change. It's awful. Go to bed, really tired. I'm falling asleep on the sofa. As soon as I get upstairs, my head hits the pillow, my eyes ping open and I'm wide awake all night. So that's when I watch YouTube, scroll through my phone. I go down the TikTok rabbit hole and I'm there for hours. Before I know it, as I said, it's early hours of the morning. As I said, today it was five. And then I'm sleeping in and I'm missing half the day. So <laughs> that was a long winded way of telling you I need this. Absolutely need this. And for three pounds. Wow. Anyway, that was my charity shop haul. As I said, not a lot, just a few bits. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment in the comment box what your favourite item was. Uh, well, just comment anyway, because I love reading your comments and chatting to you all. Um, so for now guys, hope you have a lovely weekend. I will see you next week. Take care, stay safe, look after each other and bye for now. Bye.